Hi, Mandra Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. Yes, I'm working on my Atari ST at the moment, and uh, it's because I'm using this Satan disc, and I do use the occasional retro net on this. And the problem is, I'm running out of like Raspberry Pi ish type power supplies because I'm using the plug in. Uh, power supplies because I sort of ran out of phone ones years ago. So the only ones I've got are Raspberry Pi ones, and I need to task those for more Raspberry Pi ish things because a Pi needs uh, quite a lot more current than stuff like this. So this will just run off virtually nothing. So fortunately, because this is the old battle, uh, <laughs> I say battle axe, I don't know if it is a battle axe, but yeah, it's definitely the machine I always mod. So it's had the uh, toss upgrade. It has, you see this little wire in here that goes to a switch here. It got the drive AB switcher. It has the GoTech and it has um, something I've, I've got to fix because I broke it. It was the through port to give you the joystick or mouse, whichever one you want out to this end. Although I might modify this and include two ports, so it just gives you them out, expands them totally. Although I do have quite a nice USB adapter which um, adapts to the mouse, so maybe that would be quite cool just to put the USB port there for the, the mouse. Anywho, I digest. Um, the main uh, object of my desire right now is that Satan disc, and if you haven't seen them, they're kind of groovy. Look, basically pops into the floppy drive connector and you put in your SD card and you put in your um, power and it basically just emulates a whole load of hard disks depending on the size you know if you've got one gig two gig I think someone said as long as it's not uh, SDHC you can use up to um, a four gig and but non SDHC high capacity four gig cards are quite tricky so my plan is basically to wire this micro USB port into the system. You can see the GoTech, for example, here. This is the one that Methanoid sent me. Um, has basically a bunch of uh, power connectors here. And some of the pins actually even have the power on it. Although they're a little bit annoying to get to. Because I did put uh, an angled connector when I was programming this GoTech up. So it's kind of tricky. But we'll work something out. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is basically cut the end off one of these standard USB wires. Um, although, huh, I'm almost tempted to get the front of the GoTech is USB. You could probably plug this in and get the power. But that kind of works, actually. I'm surprised I didn't think about that. Because when I'm using the hard disk thing, I'm rarely using the GoTech. In fact, as soon as you get a Satan disk, you almost might as well just go back to having a straightforward floppy drive. Because that's tremendously useful in that context. Um, but... Let's just wire something in, shall we? So if you look in the RST, you'll find a bunch of wires, reds and blues. I suspect that the reds uh, is five volts and the black is ground. Now the main problem we have, of course, is routing the wire to get it out of the case. But because this machine has never got the case on it, really, you can see it's pretty much open. Um, I might just poke it through all those screw holes, which currently doesn't have a screw. So. Let's just crack on. Chop the end off the old USB. Bye bye, I love you. I'm gonna have to buy some more of those. Um, now choose your cable wisely because these are quite cheap cables and they're very thin wires and they're probably okay for this because it's a low current thing. But if you have a high current application, um, you may find that you're losing too much in the cable because the resistance of the cable will be quite high. So you can see I'm just poking that up through here. And then that allows me to plug it into the GoTech. And I'm going to leave a little bit of, I said GoTech there, Satan disc. Uh, I'm going to leave a little bit of play in it. You see like that bit of loop? So that'll just give you enough to unplug it and plug it back in again. And you can always push it in and out of the case a bit more. So you've got options. Um, I was tempted to actually buzz out the PCB to see where we've got a 5 volts. We could certainly have a look there. Um, to be honest with you, it's a bit naughty doing that. Um, the chances of you screwing something up are really high. I would probably just say tap into the floppy drive uh, cable, which I'm going to do. But I'm not going to uh, actually interfere with the cable at all. I'm just going to solder onto the GoTech itself. So that, um, let's get that back in there. So that's going to be, uh, I think, quite a safe way. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. If you cock up the soldering, you blow out your GoTech. And if you're worried though, of course, remember you, you, about putting a strain on your ST or something, um, I think you'll be all right. My gut feeling is you'll be all right, but don't worry, I'll do it on mine and I'll just let you know if it worked or not. I mean, that's the simplest way to do this. Let's hold that there like that. 
See if you can see it. It's very hard to position to centralize the an ST in a camera. It's pretty much the same aspect ratio exactly as the camera. Now uh, you can do your tinning however you like. I've not twisted these because I'm a bit lazy, but put a little twist. A little twist, a flick of the wrist, it's what the showman said. And then give that a little trim, trimmy boo. But when you do your trimmings, get your dirty trimmings off the edge like that. Take them away from this area, we don't want to plague it. So you can see on your GoTech where the five volts on the ground, actually it's really clearly um, listed there. <coughs> Curse me for putting this stupid pin header. I'm going to try to go in under that pin header and I think I really am going to twist this round because I'm going to use the camera as a little microscope almost as well. Oh, this precarious, it wants to flip. Now that pin header was only put on to program it so it's very rarely, like never, pretty, mu oh, pretty much never used in anger. So I'm just going to slip in there and I can see that I've got here written on the nomenclature I'll just zoom out you can see here this is the diagram of that connector and I've got five volts and ground as those two pins that are un underneath so you're seeing three top pins there's two pins underneath so this one is the ground pin I'm just touching underneath and this is the five volt pin I'm just touching next to it it's got a collie Stimpy you idiot so there we go Ooh, that's not going anywhere. Yes, the light came on. Hooray! In this corner here, the light is on. And the um, Satan disc is on. And you can hear the GoTech whirring away. Because I fit the buzzer into mine. So um, when the um, write and read write lines are being accessed here, it buzzes. So it sounds a little bit like an Atari ST when it's running. And so what it does, it'll take a little while because oh, there's a memory test. So I'm going to hit escape. Normally there's a memory test. Ah, and there you go. The uh, Satan disk read light is flashing away. So I think that is great success and it is working. The read light is flashing. Perfect. So that's a nice easy fix. Oh, hello. <laughs> Wrong thing. Let's unplug our wire and let's just slip this on. Let's see if the old Casey Boo, Casey Boo's goes on. And there you go. That's not too bad, is it? I've seen way worse mods than that. That's fine for me. As ever, thanks for watching. <laughs>